Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and uh, we're back at uh, Resident Evil Revelations. And if you guys watched my uh, last video, uh, we just ended off with episode 2. I'm going to start off with episode 3. And uh, I'm not sure if, if, if it's going to do another recap, like their previous chapter. But uh, if not, I'll just tell you guys. I'm just going to load the game. Just make sure. It, oh yeah, yeah. We are good. Previously, yep. I wonder who that other woman's name was. Was it like Jessica? No. No, I don't think so. Yeah, and then this new guy. Yep. All that happened. Episode 3. Ghost of Veltro. Alright, here we go. One year ago, Terra Grigia. I think that's how you pronounce it? Not sure. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm assuming this guy that I'm playing as right now used to Your efforts work for Michael. someone else. This is one wake -up call which was long overdue. My word. Jessica, Parker, come in. The facility has been breached. We're closing shop. Prepare to go home. Split up and get to the helipad on the roof. That's an order. I'm coming like an SMG. Cadet, make sure they reach the heliport. Fine. Parker, they've started evacuation procedures here. O'Brien? I'm the only one left, General Morgan. The BSAA is pulled out. I want you to know that the FBC is making a huge mistake. We have been at war for three weeks in an attempt to handle this matter. There have been rescues, there have been losses. Too many. But any further delays would simply cripple our cause. Surely you can understand that. I'm afraid I cannot. Obliterating the site by satellite is only a quick fix. We could lose crucial evidence. Use of the satellite has already been approved. We can clean up this mess. I guess you've thought of everything. But even the FBC may not be able to cover its tracks on this one. Let the heavens scorch the earth with justice. These unilateral solutions of yours will only create a new Veltro. Perhaps a dozen of them. Yes. There's the rub. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on. I mean, I literally just hear stuff from the background. Police alarms. Sounds like bombs or something. Everyone, you have your orders. Move into position. Raymond, with me. Yes, sir. Leave it to Landsaw to take care of the higher ups. I was about to say, you're telling me 
I can't go with them. Well, no, no, no. It's not the fact I'm going with them, but you're telling me that me, a perfectly good, good health, in good health condition, can't cross through these boxes, and the other guy with the injured leg can. How, how does that make sense? All right, I was gonna get out of here. You think this is it? Not if we shoot all them sons of bitches first. Here they come. Open fire! I don't think they're going to be enough. You want to get out of here? There's got to be. After this, we head for the chopper. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Is that ammo? It is ammo. There? Did Beltro make them all? I can't contain this. Go away when they find out. Everyone will equate Beltro with terrorism. I think that's what they're hoping. Where am I supposed to go? I'm assuming not out here. I'm stuck. What's this way? I'm assuming we're going to the elevator. For some reason. I don't know why. Sorry, I don't know where we're this. going. That's fine. But you're buying me dinner next time. And I'm ordering lobster. What the Brooke already? And that was the last working elevator. How do you feel about stairs? Actually, I'm not sure how I feel about stairs. I'll take this. I just realized that the enemies that we killed don't drop uh, ammo or anything. Is that a shotgun I see? M3. Oh, come on. Bum, bum, bum. I actually wonder where we're going. I mean, like, am I escaping? Like, like, what's going on? I'll take that. I 
wasn't trying to open that. So, what do you think about that O'Brien guy? BSAA director? Not my type. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I think he's in the right. He needs to stand up to General Morgan. Yeah, I agree. I think being in the FPC distorts your moral compass. <laughs> you sound just like him. Still, I wouldn't mind being on the right side of the fight. Oh, come on. Wow. That was my first death. Well, here we go again. How far do we go? Like all the way back here? Really? Going more up. Did you see the six? I'm not going to go in there. I'll take this stuff though. is still alive. How? Get out of here. Jessica, hurry! 
We literally would have been dead by now. I feel like something is about to happen, and I don't like it. It's gonna take this. Uh, get all this stuff. I can do that? I didn't know I could do that. Is there anything else I can grab? No. Get out of here. The Zoom does it like a full swing. So he does it like in the cartoons. Sort of. The elevator's not here yet? The elevator's not here yet. What is this? Oh no, I'm out. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, you gotta be. What's in that one now? Yeah, well, we're fine. But that was crazy. I can't believe Morgan decided to fry the city with the solar energy satellite. Raccoon City all over again. Yes. 
wiped off the face of the earth. By tomorrow morning, Terra Grigia will be just a name in a history book. We did do everything we could, right? I hope we did. Well, just don't forget about that lobster dinner you owe me. <laughs> when have I ever gone back on my word? So they literally just burn the city down naturally. So now it's just uh, a wasteland. Alright, I'm still gonna continue. So the FBC is on this ship, too. What's going on here? We're operating without any intel. We need to search this ship for answers. Not that I relish the idea. Well, we're back here. What's this? Handgun ammo case. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let me check back. Is it not? I'm going to assume that I can carry more ammo on my pistol. Oh yeah, there is something over here. Anything over here? Nope. I guess down here. A 
take that. It's not working. Well, great. Two doors. We need those keys. Speak of myself. is in here oh these are good these are really good another one ship layout okay for all staff and crew the Queen Zenobia is a pleasure cruise liner that provides world-class service with the comfort of a luxury hotel for our passengers. The ship offers numerous services and facilities for our guests. As a representative for this ship, it is your job to be famili familiar with all the facilities that can be found here. The following list outlines some of the major facilities on this ship. Please read each one carefully. Promenade Hall. I don't, know, I don't even know if I said that right. Uh, boasting an area of, of 1,500 m meters square? I was going to say that. The ship's promenade hall has three floors. It is more spacious than any other ship in the world. The interior is done in the Gothic style with ceilings covered in chandeliers. It's beauty and style. Rivals that of the oh so rivals that of the finest op opera houses, casino. The ship's casino can be found next to the promenade hall. All kinds of gaming pleasures await our guests, including card games and slot machines. Everything guests would expect from a casino can be found here, 24 hours a day. Restaurants and shops. The promenade hall has designer goods and brand name stores from all over the world. Guests can relax at our many restaurants and bars. There are also shops that cater to our guests' everyday needs. Emergency communication room. There is a there is a uh, man. Okay, there is an emergency communication room next to the promenade that can be used as a safety point during an emergency. Crew can also use this room to transmit an emergency distress call should the need arise. Solarium. Or Solarium? Yeah. The shuttered glass of the Solarium overlooks the world's largest onboard swimming pool. This romantic spot has been a favorite destination for many of our passengers. Be on the lookout for couples who sneak in after hours. <sighs> that was a long reading. Yeah, I scanned that guy. Discarded message. Oh God, please help me. This can't be happening. Don't leave me to die in this hell. I'm trapped here. There are monsters here. Real ones. Everyone's dead or dying. There are no survivors. I'm not going to say that we're all going to die. Upper interior map. We should find an emergency communication room if we go through the hall. 
This must be a to get that shotgun. Oh, here's more. Okay. History of the Queen Zenobia. Tonnage, 148,000 gross tons. Displacement, 90,000 tons. Length, 335.8 meters. Beam, 52.3 meters. Height, 93.97 meters. Propulsion, electric diesel propulsion. Crew, uh, 1,094 officers and crew, passengers, 2,200. This Paraguas line flagship was constructed in 1978. The interior is designed to replicate that of ships of the 1930s, the golden age of cruise ships. The design was based on blueprints left by George Trevor before his disappearance. Newspapers from the time of the ship's construction report accolades the design received. The ship herself is named after Zenobia, the queen of the Palmyrene. Palm uh, Palm Palmyrene Empire, who was disposed by the Romans. Like the legendary beauty of her namesake, this ship is also known as the Beauty of the Atlantic and remained one of the most popular cruise ships built in the 20th century. With the rise of air travel supplementing the popularity of long seafaring voyages, it looked like the Queen Zenobia, along with her sister ship, was, was destined to be junked in the late 80s. Fortunately, she was purchased by the Paraguay's line and her steam turbines were replaced with an electric diesel propulsion system. Her hold and cabin areas were expanded, and she was un upgraded with the latest technology. The Queen Zenobia was reborn as a fully functional luxury liner. After its restoration, the Queen Zenobia set out on a cruise around the world, followed by one around South America and many, many others. In the future, she will find her main harbor in the Mediterranean... Mediterranean... Wait, Mediterranean, oh, Mediterranean for cruises around Africa. The Queen Zenobia would be bringing pleasure to passengers for years to come. The History of the Queen Zenobia, 1995 edition. That's great. How horrible. It must be must have been pain, painful death. All right. We should go to the emergency communication room. Maybe try to contact HQ. That door's not gonna work. Alright, we got to find Rain. How do you know him? I used to work with him. Let's leave it at that. I checked all those. Upper cabins or lower cabins? I want to go to upper cabins. I think that's where we're, where we were in the last uh, part. I also need to get that shotgun.
note found in room 303. What the hell is going on? Monsters are crawling all over, all over the ship. They're tearing it to pieces. I've never seen monsters like this. Their movements are stiff, stilted, but it's all over if they, they get the hold of, of you. Those something, something, something. Monsters ate my friend Hassan. Bastards. I used my gun to frighten them off, giving me time to get the hell out of there. The bullet went straight through its arm. Thank God. These monsters have bones like an old woman. There's nowhere left to run now. Damn, monsters twisted my leg good. Hell, I run out of ammo too. God only knows how I'm going to survive this. Is there really nothing else in here? Wait a minute. Hold up. Where am I? Where's that at? How do I get there? Cafeteria. Through there? Okay. I forgot about these guys. Might as well kill them. What? What was that? Wait, where's... I actually want to get that if it's here. Pretty sure it's through here, the shotgun. I went the wrong way. Close from the other side. Is it here? It's not here.
I cannot remember where the shotgun is. I might have went the wrong way. Through here, maybe? Here it is. Windham. I should probably start scanning, like the rooms. Uh. Oh yeah, it's this way. Anything here that's locked, okay. What about through here? Yay! There's another one. like an opera house in here. So, where is this emergency communication room? There's an elevator. So many floors. That's what I was about to say.
That's not right. Cleaning report for next on duty. There are notes handwritten in the comments column of the report. March 25th. There was some kind of barnacles sticking to the bottom of the pool. Don't know where they came from. Please take care of them. March 30th. The barnacles are back again. Looks like they are all grouping together into a little colony. Maybe they are in a new species? Might be fun to keep some as pet. April 10th. Looks like the pipe that distributes distributes the water was damaged it was fixed but there's a chance there was some contamination on this on this end the guy in charge of security wasn't very happy maybe it has something to do with that new species of barnacle april 12th yikes that's no new species of barnacles that's for sure the report ends here is gonna take a while. Should have known. We'll come back late. He's right. I guess we're going back down. Oh, here we go. Whew. Okay. I got the shotgun. I was fire power by 20%. I was fire rate by 15%. Might as well put both. Nothing on that. Nothing on that one. All right. Uh, honestly, damn, we're just gonna end it here, guys. Uh, yeah. I mean, huh. Some more down here. You're, oh no, we came over there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a lot more. I'll just end it here, guys. Uh, I hope you guys did join this, this video. Uh, this is turned out pretty long probably my longest one now but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one